Hello everyone. I've been having some difficulty. Some. I've been having a lot of difficulty. And I was trying to stream on YouTube today, but I have done something with my with the stream, uh, with my encoder. I, I suspect it's with my encoder. And it is not good. Uh, too much buffering. No one could hear me. Frozen screens. It, um, I don't think the recording is going to be anything that we're going to be able to watch. So I have moved over here to Ustream for today until I can fix my problem. Now, part of my problem is I am mirrored. <laughs> don't know how I did it. I don't know how to fix it. Um, uh, that's part of the problem that's going on, but that's the least of the problems. Um, so I am over here at Ustream just to finish up the stream today and then going to go and before I do any videos or anything, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to fix this problem. I need to fix this problem. I'm going to have to go through a whole lot of water today, ma'am. A whole lot of water. So I wanted to do something really easy and really fun because I've been so frustrated. I am so non-technical. It isn't even funny. I'm surprised that I can even stream at all. So I, I have all my Wi-Fi is off. I've got all my... All I have open is was YouTube. You know, every my phone's turned off, my tablet's turned off, everything is turned off. Nothing should be. I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna do some faces. I showed some faces earlier. Um, I and I might as well just flip through some of the faces again so that those people watching a recording can see what we're doing. This is the first the first series I did in about 2000. And for these faces, and we're going to start out taking a whole head. Hi Lucky. Yes, Linda, it's backwards. <laughs> uh, thank you, yes. It's backwards. I don't know what to, how to fix it. I've been working on the backwards thing for the longest time. So that's what, how I did this first series. Uh, and these are all 8.5 by 11, and that's what I did. I took a base face, something that I liked. I cut it out put it on, <clears throat> excuse me, and I put it on a background that I painted. I used mostly watercolors for these backgrounds. Um, I will get into, we're going to do some of these backgrounds with watercolor. I've used cling wrap and aluminum foil and bubble wrap and all kinds of fun things to make most of these backgrounds. So I made backgrounds first, and then, and then I took little parts of faces from other other faces and put them together to make new faces. And this is how I started out doing the faces. This all of these are. <laughs> all of these are the ones that I did. The very first ones that I ever did were all of these. I'm trying to get the shine off of them a little bit. I'm trying to, but it's not working really well. There we go. Trying to. So this is just how I started putting different kinds of faces. And mostly what I did is I cut around the, the eyes and the mouth and place them upside down or backwards. This eye is right side up and this eye is upside down. And you don't really notice right away. You know that something is odd about it, but not really sure what it is. And it takes a while to figure out those kinds of 
things. So it's fun to play around with the different pieces on different faces, and that's what we're going to do today. So I just wanted to show some of the basics. This is a great way to start. If you have not done any of these <laughs> before, a great way to start is to start with a head and then add things on top to make a funny face. Okay? Yes, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> Oh, I guess faces were a good thing to start out with um, since it's all, you can't tell that they're backwards. It's not really unnerving. All right, so that was my series one. And then about four years later, I went to series two. And series two is more, is more, I want to say, more, they're, they're more abstract. I didn't start with a head. I cut apart eyes and blocks of mouth and nose, and I put things together that way, building a head instead of starting with a head. So, so that's what I have done with a lot of these. I started with a block with a nose and then covered it up with eyes and a mouth. Uh, here I started with a block of a, a part of a face. I don't have the whole face. And then I added bits on top of it. I used strips and just little bits. And I did not cover those little bits that I really liked. Her mouth here is upside down. It gives it a funny, funny little look. And so I just used blocks to put them together. This takes a little bit more practice. Hi Dorothy. Hi Cheshire Cat. It takes a little bit more practice, but these can be really a lot of fun. So these take a uh, little or no skill. It's just a bit of practice. Um, and there's really no good uh, recipe or, or system to getting the faces done. So all I'm going to do today is give you some ideas on how to start and how to put things together. Some ideas to start and then we will get um, more in depth later on some of the other ways to put things together. A lot of times I will take two different eyes and put them together and sometimes not even an eye. Um, and here's another one with two different eyes but it looks it looks okay. You, you don't really notice those kinds of things unless you're really looking at it really really closely. I'm gonna stop with the flip through here. For those people watching the recording I do have both Series 1 and Series 2, this is Series 2, in slideshows on YouTube. If you want to see the slideshows, you can look at the faces. I've got all of the faces there. You can look at them as um, you, can, you can pause the, the, the slideshow so you can actually look at all the details in each face. There are two different videos, one for Series 1 and one for Series 2. And they are some of the first videos I ever, ever put up on YouTube. So if you do uh, search sort by date and look for the earliest ones, you're going to find them uh, pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to stop with that one. There are different size, sizes that you can do. With them, I've got ATC size, which is really easy because you can always find smaller faces, and you can find a lot of smaller faces just to practice with and to find out what you like looking at. So ATC size are really, it's really a good size to start out with, um, just to play around, and then you're not worried about using up all your nice big parts. 
Um, sometimes the bigger parts are hard. They're harder to come by. So, so just so that you know, you can do them that way. And I also have some five by sevens. You can do them any size. And just just for a nice flip through, just for some ideas, we've got the the flip book, the face flip book, and this um, is something that we will visit later on when we get better with our faces. We will make a flip book. I plan on making another one of these. So um, these are really fun for gifts and just to play around with. So when we get practiced in making our faces, we're going to do a flip book like that. So today I've got, I found some postcard size. They're four by sixes. And these are just some backgrounds that I came across in my face collection boxes. And I thought that would be a great size to play around with on a stream so that you can see kind of the basic things that I do and you can start out with so I can give you some ideas. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. I am not so much concerned about doing any, there, you can do these on any background so I'm not going to show how to do backgrounds. You can cut up just plain pieces of paper and, and do them on that. Um, just anything at all. In fact, for later on, I do have some signatures. These are smaller than the 4 by 6 I made six signatures with just plain white paper. And when we get a go in, I am going to do some backgrounds and faces in these signatures. Um, but not today. We're going to do that later. So the first thing that I do is I go through my magazines. And please excuse the, the uh, yeah. Please excuse the words. Don't look at the words. We're looking at the faces. Um, so you want to grab magazine pictures, any kind of advertisements for faces. Now keep in mind you want to look at the little ones too. If you're doing ATC size, this little thing right here is perfect for that little bit of face right there. And look at the backs as well. So I am just going to start cutting some of these faces out so I can start working with them. I do use a rotary cutter to make strips and things, but we will get into that a little bit later. And I am going to save this little bit of face right here because I think I can do something with it later for ATC, so I am saving that. And there's nothing on the back that I want maybe oh my and you gotta save the words right saving the words I'm just gonna throw that away because there's nothing else on that so that's what I'm doing is I'm just collecting some faces some face parts just getting them out there so I know what I've got to work with Then I'm going to start cutting stuff apart. All right. Oh, this one's got two faces on it and some tiny little eyes here. I, I can't read the words. Disregard the words. Don't look at the words. Um, and here is one that I took the eyes out of. And all I really want is that mouth because I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it or not. So I'm going to cut around it so I've got plenty of stuff in case I want to make it a large piece. And that's part of the trick of the whole thing later on. I always search. I always look in the back to see if there's anything that I want to save on there. I'm liking this little bit of color. This bit of... And, and so, yeah, so um, I'm saving that. I'm not going to put it with faces, but I'm saving that for something else. I'm throwing that away. Um, so I've got, let me just cut this off real fast because I want to work with her. I'm just cutting off the 
the words, putting it in my pile. And there's nothing on the other side, so I'm throwing that away. So part of the thing is, um, part of it is, this is a hard choice, because I like both of these faces. Both of these faces are spectacular. So um, I, I do cut things apart. I didn't grab it, so I'm grabbing it now. I use a, a rotary cutter. I usually use my big one, but I can't get my big one underneath the, the webcam. So I have to decide how I want to go about doing this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut long strips of eyes to use eyes with. and see what happens. So I'm trying to decide which one I want the most. Which one am I going to want to use the most? And I'm thinking that this face is right there on the edge. So I am going to cut off I am going to cut off a little bit of that face and see what I'm left with on the back. So that's what I am doing. Just ripping that off. So now I've got this piece to work with later. Now I'm going to see what I've got left. Oh, it's quite a bit. Oh, this is going to be pretty easy to do. All right. So I've got quite a bit of that face left and I'm not sure exactly how I want to proceed with that. But I am thinking I want to cut some strips. I don't have enough long strips. I have the the both eyes in one strip, but I don't have a lot of strips with just the eyes in a long manner like that. So I am going to do that. You can do this with scissors or you know the little paper trimmers or whatever you have. I just, I'm used to using my rotary cutter so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I think I am going to go ahead and I'm going to save each of these I'm just going to make two little eye strips and I want them kind of to be the same. So I am guess I'm looking at how much I put um, around the eyes here. I am looking to see if I can match that with the other side of her face. And I think it is right about there. So I'm going to cut that off. And I am also going to keep this strip with the nose and the mouth because that is perfect for other things. And I'm going to show you how to use the bits in here in just a second. So I want another strip right there. And I don't have anything except the word happen. I like happen. So I'm just going to save that word before I throw this away. All right. I saved everything. So now I've got my face into these little strips. And I will put them in different faces. So once I get some bits and pieces all saved up. I start sorting them out and start mixing them up. So I have eyes in this little tray and I have 
a nose and a mouth in this tray. So I have them different. Okay? And I get it going with this, and I've got little face parts everywhere so that I can... Um, I can test different things with, with different faces. And we're going to be doing some of that as well. So I just wanted you to see that this is what I do, and then I start pulling stuff out. I don't have room for everything on my workstation. I've got a very small workstation. So I'm going to put this over on the side just so you can see what I'm, what I'm pulling things out of on the side here. All right? And usually I have a sea of, of eyes and, and different things to choose from. So I've got some little bits out here. And I did want to, while well, I've got the eyes out here, I did want to show some of the ways that I cut apart eyes. I cut them in length, in long lengths like this. And I do try to keep those two eyes together. I cut them in little blocks for both eyes together. I do cut, sometimes there are words on the other side of a face, so I'll just cut one eye out. I save everything that I can find. Here's another one. It might have been on the back of something, but there's a nose and an eye, and I thought that that would, was, is very usable for something. Um... I do make sure that I've got some large eyes and some small eyes. I want options. That makes your faces better in the long run. And sometimes I keep some of the top of the head as well. Lots of different kinds of things. Here's one with interesting eyes and a lot of the top of her head. So I am going to pull out some of these kinds of things. I've got some cut, and I thought I had them out where I could get to them. I do. Here they are. I pulled some out so I can show you other things. This one was a mascara ad, and it had the little mar mascara wand, you know, so I cut that off. So I kind of chopped up this eye a little bit, but I thought the eye was gorgeous, so I'm going to try to keep it. Um, another way to cut out eyes is to cut all the way around them so that you can just do it that way. Or you can cut squares if you want a little bit more skin tone for them. So what you want to do is start collecting little bits of, of eyes and some, some mouths, mouths and some noses. And then it's all about starting to play with things. So I've got a couple of faces here. And let me take this away. Let's play with Miss Jennifer here for a little bit. Just to get some ideas. And you can take the whole head or you can use just a part of the head. Um, I obviously cut off the top of her head. Are you guys still with me? Still with me? Still with me? Oh, and like I said, this is not an exact science. This is more of a play around, see what you can come up with. I'm going to put a few faces out here. Hopefully we can see some of them. I guess I'm going to have to move them because they got shine on them. Is that better? No. I've just got technical difficulties all over the place here, guys. All over the place. Is that better? No, not really. No. Alrighty then. It doesn't, when I'm looking at it, I can, I can only see, um, I can only see, I don't see shine on my desk. I can see the shine in the, um, in the monitor. So, 
And if I do it that way, then it's really dark. So um, I'm just going to have to deal with it. So I've got three faces out here with a bunch of bits and pieces. And I'm just going to take these guys away for now and kind of move them over here so the shine is not on them very much. There we go. And then I can show you how I play around and look for little bits. So here's one a little tiny face and it used to be Ellen. I, I cut her in, in half so I could have eyes and mouth and nose. So I will probably use those on two different faces. So I've got a strip of eyes here to use now. And I like to have more than one face going at a time so I can set some eyes down and see if I like them or not. So the trick of this is scale. You want large faces with small features or small faces with large features. The more exaggerated, the more fun they are. And this just this is, like I said, this is not an exact science. This is more of a how uh, it's more of a practice to see what you like. I'm trying to find the other the other eye strip that I just cut. I know it's here somewhere. That's not it. I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Here's the two eye strips I just cut. Uh, sometimes I like putting those strips together like that so that she's got a little tiny mouth. But I like the way that the eyes look together like that. And I'll move this out of the way so we can play with that. And I would probably put this on my background so I know how large to make it. So I would start doing that before I cut anything. And then I go over to my noses and mouths without bumping my eyes and start auditioning little bits and pieces. I've got some different pieces of nose and some mouth pieces. So I start putting them together and seeing what I like. Okay, and I start building things up and I'll leave them there for a little bit and, and play with other faces as I go and just kind of look. I kind of like the way she looks that way, but let's try something else. I've got a single eye and it's funny how just using or tr changing one little piece makes the face look completely different. You can put it that way. You can tilt it in a funny direction up or down. See I love that. I love the way the tilt just kind of goes with her hair. Um, the trick of this is when you're putting an eye on top of another eye, you want to make sure that you have everything underneath it covered. If I were to put an eye on this face here, let's see if I can find another eye. Um, I wanted an eye with an eyebrow. Do we have an eye with an eyebrow? You want to make sure that you're covering the entire eye. It looks better that way. Even if it's not centered correctly, if it's not positioned correctly, it looks funny if you see part of the eye underneath. It doesn't look right. Something's wrong with that face. But if you cover the underneath feature with something on top, now even though 
it's not in the right position. Let me see if I can get it up there without, even though it's not in the right position, like her eyes are not even, it looks right. It looks funny. It looks like something, like it could be a real face. Um, the eyebrow underneath is poking out because the eyebrow here, the, uh, that the eye on top is using part of the eyebrow underneath for its eyebrow. And that's what makes the whole thing look like it could be real. So I'm liking this face. So I think I am going to, I know I like that tilted one too. I wasn't expecting to find something right away that I really, really liked. I like the tilting eye more than I like the little tiny eyes. So I'm going to live with that one for a little bit. So let me move this over just a little bit and find another background. And I'm going to work with this one and we're just going to make um, some little faces today. Uh, where did my scissors go? I had scissors. I had scissors. So my underneath face I don't want the white spot, so I am going to cut all that white paper off. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I really want it on the top of the page. I kind of want it in the center of the page. Do I want her ear? Not really. I am going to, and I don't usually do this, but this is what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to take my metal ruler and kind of tear things off. I'm just going to rip that part off so I don't have a really, really straight edge. And that fits more on my background. I kind of like that. I kind of like this diagonal here. I think I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to put the eye back and make sure that the eye stays on my background. And what I mean by that is, and we, when we get a close up, so if I had my main face closer to this edge and I put my eye where I want it, it's hanging off the edge. We don't like that. I don't like that. I want all my parts of my face on my paper. So I'm moving my base face over just a little bit so that that eye, when I have it in the right position, is not hanging off the edge. Okay? So I am liking that. Now I just need to find, I think I, it needs a mouth. So let me find some different options for a mouth. Now you can fussy cut around a mouth or use a block of mouth and nose or just a strip of a mouth. You see, you can't really see because it's focusing on the back there. Hi, Kimberly. Doesn't want to focus on that. It doesn't know what to focus on. It's just a strip of a mouth. Um, here is a part of a smile that that got. I, I the advertisement didn't have the entire smile. She's kind of off center, but I like that smile, so I I use it. So there are many ways. And then here's Ellen's mouth and nose. And let's investigate that one. So I've got some different options. I can use a great big huge mouth, which makes her look pretty freaky. Don't like that one. I can use Ellen's nose and mouth, but again, I want to cover up the nose underneath in, in some kind of way so it's not showing, and the mouth so that it looks right. And I, I'm not, I'm, it, there's nothing there that I like. 
Um, here is a strip of a mouth. And I'm liking that a little bit better. It's hard to see on the camera, but you need to make sure your strip of mouth is going to cover the mouth underneath. And this one is just big enough. But I still I don't like that so much. Here is, and, and going back to that, here's a little thin little mouth. It's all fussy cut out. I can't really use that on her because the lips underneath show through. It doesn't look quite right. Not quite right. I could probably get away with it, but it doesn't look quite right to my eye. I want to make sure I've got something that will cover up the mouth underneath entirely. I'm trying to find something smallish and I don't see anything in here. Oh, here's a piece. Here's a piece of nose and mouth that I could put on there. Not really liking that. Here is a piece of nose and mouth that's much smaller. Again, I have to cover the nose and that might work. But I like to live with it a little bit. Yeah, I was having some problems. I was having some problems on YouTube, so here I am trying to, to do a little something over here. Here is a great big fussy cut smile. And that might be something that I like. I do enjoy, this one's pretty good too. Not so sure. This one's pretty good too, and it's got a nose on it, so I not need to make sure I'm covering up the nose. Now I like this kind of thing. I like to do the blocks with the nose and the mouth together. But I try to match up jawline just a little bit when I'm covering up other things. I like something that's a little bit different scale, but I try to match up the jawline so it looks kind of right. All right. So this is an option. I like the way the eyes look for sure. I like the way that they're, they're not on the same... Um, line that this one is way lower and it's way bigger and it is it's obviously different okay um, I'm still not real happy about the mouth yet so there is a lot of options for a mouth and a nose half of somebody else's mouth and nose sometimes that works if it's not quite the same, that looks too normal to me. It really does look almost too normal. Um, they're exactly the same size. Exactly the same size. So I would want to try to find something that's a little larger or a little smaller to work with. Um, if you're starting out and haven't done any faces yet, I would start by big blocks of faces like that or like the Jennifer Jennifer face and and start messing around with the faces in that way before before anything else so I like the way it looks but it's just not the right scale so I am gonna do something else with that and sometimes it's funny if you take their nose away completely <laughs> just depends. Here's one that's really really big and that one might work. Maybe it's just a little a tad tad too big. Let's see if I can find some more here. And so I've got a ton of stuff over here in my little in my little bin that I am sorting through to see if I can find 
little bits and pieces that will actually work. So that's what I mean. The more options you have to try, the, the more likely you're going to find something that you like. Now here is an interesting... Now I kind of like that. Can you see the whole thing all together? I don't know what it is, but if I get it centered correctly, the eye in the place that I want the eye, and I am overlapping the nose and mouth just a little bit, and I see the corner of her mouth right there, it really needs to be covered to make it believable. So I am I'm going to live with this for a minute and then come back to it and see if I still like it. Let's go back to Jennifer. Oh, you'd like that tilted eye. That tilted eye is pretty co cool. Um, I'm going to put that over here and we're just going to work with her for just a second because there are so many different things that we can do with this kind of a face. Um, we can put a strip of eyes and lining up their nose and make a different face altogether. Hi, Mac. Or we can put a strip of face down the center so you've got a half and half face, which is kind of interesting too because if you line up their, her mouth a little bit, it looks there are different perspectives. One of them's looking down a little bit, one of them straight on. So it makes the face look really, really funny. You want eyes that are looking in different directions. Now that's kind of funny too. But I want my scale to be more dramatic. It's not dramatic enough for me. It might be dramatic enough for you, but it's not for me. Here's another piece of eye and nose, and you can figure out how to put that nose and the eyes together to make another face. Um, you're losing quite a bit of the underneath, but you could put a mouth underneath that and make a bigger face. It's all about playing. It's all about trying out all kinds of different stuff. That one's kind of cool. I like the large, the large eyes on her. I was looking for a single eye. Let's see if I've got a single eye in my other tray over here. Because another thing that I like to do with the the swept hair over one eye. I can't find I can't find an eye that's cut out. Why can't I find an eye? Can you guys hear the Instagram notifications on on here? It's driving me crazy. All right, I don't see any cut out eyes. Oh, here's one. I like the profile eyes, so this might work. This might work. All right. So let's get Jennifer back out here. Maybe I had it in here. Now I can add a single eye, and I like that. And it does take me a while to do these faces. I um, I will sit here for hours and hours with a single face. I like the profile face uh, eyes, and I don't come across those very often, but I really like playing with those. I think that they are just hilarious. And you can put it upside down on top of her hair to really make an interesting face. And I do like those a lot. Here is a little kid's eye. 
part of his glasses and part of his nose, but that makes a very funny face. Let's see if I can keep it in the right place so you can get the idea of what it looks like. But it's a little too freaky. Here is one of those makeup tip pictures, so it's a drawn eye. Those are always fun. If it was just a little bit better scale or a different scale, um, that one might work on something. I do like, I wanted a, a square something here. Yes, lots of auditioning. Audition, audition, audition. So you can do a square of an eye or a strip of an eye. Actually, that one would need to go on that side. But you can see with every little change that it makes the face completely different. Completely. And I do like to mess around with it quite a bit before I decide I want to stick with something. Now here's one. I kind of like that. I lined up her nose and part of her, the top of her lips, their lips, to make a smirky kind of face. Her eyes are not lined up correctly, but... that would work. Here's one. Another thing that I could do is just add some some lips. And what happened to that little... Here it is. And put on an eye on the other side. There's so many different things you can do. Yes, audition, audition, audition. And that is that was really the key of the whole thing is play around with different things. And that's why I suggest go and looking at the the slideshow of the other faces. It will give you some idea of how to cut apart faces to mess around with. This one is a nose and a mouth that was pretty nice but I cut them in half and that way I can use them separately in other things so I would probably use this side and one eye so they're kitty corner and that really makes an interesting face all right um, so that's all I am doing today is just try to relax and make some funny faces. Um, and as I go here, hopefully, I will give you some tips that I'm forgetting about right now. I am so, um, I don't know what the word is, frustrated with the computer situation that I'm having a hard time focusing on just playing here. So let me put some of these little pieces back so I can find them. Oh, here's a wonderful little nose and mouth. I don't know if I really like that nose and mouth on that one. So <laughs> that's a funny little mouth. Uh, that's going to be a special mouth on somebody, I think. So I am putting these away. Oh, here's another one that's pretty funny. I love these special ones. Getting them out of my way so I can show something else. All right, let's go back to this one. That mouth is just a little dark, so maybe it needs something else. Kind of like that. This is really busy, so I don't want all of this nonsense all over her. And I am, I'm just going to 
grip the pieces off, I think. Throw them away. And I don't think I need that necklace, but it might work. Sliding that head up just a little bit so there's room for all this neck and necklace underneath and I'm lining up her jawline to make it look like it belongs there but I'm also making sure that I cover up her nose just enough so that it might work still not sure I like it still not sure Thank you, Shelly. You like the small mouth one? I think that I could come up with something a little bit better. I am not sold on that one yet. Just not sold on it. So I am, I want to look, I just want to look at it a little bit more before I commit and glue it down. As soon as I glue it down, I'm going to find the perfect piece to put on there. So I'm going to go back to this little one and I'm liking that mouth and this nose. Can you see? See if I can lift it up so you can see the details on it close up. But I put those two strips of put those two strips of eyes really really close together so she has a unibrow now but it really does make the face really really interesting and then I can add a nose and a mouth either separately over the top of it it does happen it always happens you glue it all down and then suddenly right there in your eyesight is the perfect piece and it looks absolutely, yes, it happens to me all the time. So I am going to put, well, I can put that funny little mouth on top, but I need to make sure that I can cover her entire lips. And it doesn't really, you can kind of see it, and it makes it, the shape of her that lip really, really funny. And I can put a little nose on, a little freckled nose on her. It makes her look um, kind of silly. I kind of like the way that this face is turning out. I like the little bit of hair on the top and her little bit of smile underneath. But I'm not sold on that mouth, so I'm trying to find a mouth that I really, really like. Here's one. It's hard to do this up in the air, guys. But it's almost too small to see. I... I don't... I think I need a bigger mouth. It's almost there, but not quite. Almost. Almost. That might work if I took the other nose away. Just a square of a piece of nose. And it doesn't matter if the skin tones match. They don't need to match for it to work. The more important thing is that the nose is in the area that the nose should be in and that it's covering up the nose underneath it. It doesn't, the skin tones does not matter. In fact, different skin tones make it more interesting in the long run. I am not seeing... Ooh. Here we go. 
I kind of like that. <laughs> but it seems like I'm wasting this piece on this little tiny bit, so I might have to save that for a different one. But I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. So here is just a half of a smile, and I would put it over so that it's covering that little bit of nose and mouth. And even though it's not centered in the place it should be centered, it still looks kind of interesting. Hello, Judy Batootie. <laughs> so let's see what else I have got here. I'm not sold yet. I'm still looking for the perfect piece. And that might be it. A little too normal. The sizes are too close together. It's too, it, there's not enough contrast there. Ooh. I like these kind of smiles. I like to fussy cut just around the mouth when they have lots of lipstick and stuff. Um, and I like these because you can tilt them and make their faces really funny. So this is an option. Do I have any others? I think I might need one just a little smaller than this. <clears throat> there goes my voice again. Here's another little piece. I need to cut it out. But that would work too. So let me cut that out. In my focus, let me cut that out real fast because I don't want all that stuff around it. So I don't know how the recording is going to be. My recordings off of Ustream are usually pretty horrible. So I apologize in advance that I was not able to figure out all my technical issues before I stream today. Not from lack of trying to figure it out and the hours and hours I spent. I'm kind of liking it, but still I think I can do better. So I was reduced to, to streaming on Ustream today because the buffering was so very bad in YouTube. My settings are just not right. Something something is wrong because I was doing better before I messed around with it. Ooh, here's one that might work. Here's another little smile. That might work. You know, she her little funny little mouth and nose even though her face is wider, that might work too. But I am thinking she needs, I need to keep her hair. I want to keep her hair, just a little bit of her hair up here. And this is going to be too low, so it's too big. It's just a little too big. So, yep, it is just a lot of auditioning and playing around and you can spend a lot of time doing this. I have been here for almost for an hour. Haven't even got one done yet. Ooh. Haven't even got one finished yet. Nothing is coming to me. I haven't done faces in a while, so I'm just a little out of practice. I seem to get into a groove eventually, and then it's pretty easy. That's kind of cool. Let's put that on the side.
I could figure out how to make that work. I like that. It makes her look like she's got a very, very long face. But what I need to do is make it as wide as the face itself. So I may have to trim down so that the ears make a whole face. You see what I mean? Yes, I do turn the mouths upside down. I've got a couple. It, it, it makes them look, um, it makes them look, it does make them look funny. I've got a couple in my slideshow with the fa with the mouths upside down. Yes, it makes it look pretty, pretty interesting. And I put eyes upside down too. Yes, definitely. That might work. It's really dark in the in the monitor, so I don't know if you can actually see the detail on that one. But I am thinking I want to do I want to do this little face. I do believe I want to do this one. So I need to take off a bit on both sides and a little bit in the center just so that what width of her so-called face is the width of the face underneath here. So I'm going to get out, there's my scissors, my rotary cutter again and just trim that up just a little tiny bit. Trim up these strips I've got, and I think I'm going to take a little bit from the center. And a little bit from the outside. It's really hard to do this when I'm not over it with all my weight holding it in place. And then I need to do the same for this one. Just a little bit out of the center. and a little bit on the other side. Now, hopefully this is going to be enough. Actually, let me measure it real fast and see if it's going to be enough. And quite a bit off of it still. Actually, I can leave it right there. but it's, it's, it's not centered correctly. So I'm taking just a little bit off of here so it looks right on the top. So the eyes are centered in the strips. All right. Let's put them together and see what we've got here. I like, I almost like this whole bit here. It needs to be trimmed off just a tad on this side. 
and then a bunch of her hair on the top and I think that is our face for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend over the top here so I know where to cut it off I'm going to glue those on sorry this is a very slow process and I am just going to tear these little bits down here off because you can't see them underneath her other face her other bits of faces and I got I ended up with two little bits of eyeballs on that strip so I'm going to keep that as well and use it with ATC size faces. So I want to put these on the top here. I'm going to get my gluing magazine out and I am just going to go for it and glue it on so I have at least one face done after an hour. This is really rough to not have a face done. It takes a long, long time for me. I am very, very picky about my faces. Oh, that's kind of cool on the other side, too. I'm very, very picky about my faces. So, and I'm just going to kind of put it there for a second until I've got glue on both pieces and then position them both at the same time so they're exactly where I want them and in fact I need to do that with I need to measure with the other piece too to make sure that it is in the right spot and I do need to move them over just a little bit so that they are centered underneath her nose and mouth correctly so before I burnish them down. Oops, I got a little bit of glue on my fingers. I want to make sure that that looks right. And it looks right right there so I am smoothing them down right there. Use a little bit of my t-shirt, make sure it's well glued down. And I am putting, I can see a little bit of the background through those, the split in the middle. So I'm trying to scooch them over so I don't see the background. There we go. Don't want to see background behind there. There we go. There we go. So it's better to put, put it almost on top of, 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 each, of itself so you don't see the background because that will distract from your face. Okay, and then I am going to put glue on this little bit. I'm just going to leave this bottom part just as it is. I don't usually you leave all this neck, neck and shoulders, but I kind of like the way this one looks. So. I'm just going to go for it. And I'm centering her nose and her mouth so that they look like it's a complete face. All right. And I am going to use my t-shirt and get all the air bubbles out from underneath there so it will lay flat. And I am going to trim off the top here because I, I glued over the top. So I've got little bits Hey, now I'm just going to trim those off. Trimming those off. Just like that. 
And I've got a little bit here on the side too, on the bottom. It's a little bit too wide, so I'm just trimming that off so that it's all trimmed off on the back. And there's our face. It only took three pieces, but there is a postcard size face. Okay? So at least we have one done. We have one done. Right? So I am going to play around with this one a little bit because we're pretty close to getting this one done. And I did want to show you too, you don't always have to use uh, magazine pictures. Well, this one did come out of a magazine. I think it's a Somerset Studio. It was a stamp set that they had colored in or something. And then I put a real life person's nose and mouth on top of that. And I just love the way that that turned out. So I'll be transferring that to a, a background as well. I had it on something else. I didn't like it there. So I am going to move it onto a different background. Maybe this background. So maybe we can do that real fast if I've got enough time. But I really wanted to, to do just one more. Um, I like the way that this is turning out, but she needs a decent mouth. And I haven't found a decent mouth for her yet. And white. Yeah, I like the, the real and the not real. Um, I do keep pieces of other stuff. And in fact, I've got, come on, focus here. Focus down here. Focus down here. Did it do it? It did it. Yay. All right. I do have, um, if I can find them, I do have Mona Lisa eyes. Here's the Mona Lisa eyes. I printed out some Mona Lisa eyes. Yes, I am channeling my inner Picasso. Yes, definitely. Definitely, Picasso is one of my faves. Um... Jennifer might look kind of interesting with Mona Lisa eyes. If I made the Mona Lisa eyes a little thinner, she might be interesting with that. Yes, I am. I, I love Picasso. I think Picasso's a genius. So I kind of want a large-ish mouth. So I am trying to find a large-ish mouth. And one thing before we go, you can also use black and white photos with color photos. And it really does make it cool as well. It really, it doesn't matter. Um, it's, it is... It is, it, it, it's doable. It doesn't distract, even though one's black and white and one's color, it works. It really does work well. Um, I was trying to find a mouth and didn't, I can't find a mouth. And also, another thing if you're doing this, you think Picasso is just bored? Um, you want to do faces that that are faced are not straight on with faces that are straight on. You want some of your pieces to to be kind of going at a di diagonal, like this one is not straight on mouth, so it would look okay, kind of off to the side because the mouth is actually going off to the side. 
So that would be, and I'm kind of liking that. Kind of, kind of. We could do this funny, funny mouth. Except it's too big. It's just too big. I don't think I have another one of those cut out. I do have a focus problem. Was he in the newspapers all the time in the 50s? I can imagine. He was quite a character. He was quite a character. Um, oh, no, don't like that one. I would like to get one more face done. Oh, oh, that's the perfect little mouth there. Let's see if it works on this face. It doesn't. It doesn't. Almost, but not quite. Not quite. She'll have to be on something else. She'll have to be on something else. But I like that one. That one's pretty good. I have to keep that one out. Just to mess around with it a little bit more here later. Ooh, that mouth might work. I think I want something a little larger. Ooh. All right. There we go. <laughs> he made an impression on you, Cat. On front page of the newspaper, Mr. Picasso is front page of the newspaper once again. I think that maybe the bottom of her mouth is too much too dark to, and it kind of blends in with the bottom of her face. So I'm not quite sure. I think I need to find a better mouth. I just, it just, I'm not quite sure about that one yet. We're getting there. I like the eye, but I'm not real fond of the mouth yet. Not, not there. I think I need some more mouthpieces. And another quick one that I can show you guys really fast. If I can find that strip that I cut off in the beginning. It was a long strip. Yep, here it is. There's the long strip. These are always fun to use. Let me get another background out here. Just a strip of face, and we can tear off the bottom of that. We don't need that. Just a strip of face and a strip of eyes, some fun eyes. I had some fun eyes. How come I don't see the strips of fun eyes anymore? And that's all it takes to make a face. I don't really like that one. Ooh, this one might work. There we go. The eyes looking sideways. So I would cut off probably the bottom here and just so that it wasn't jagged edged here and then cut it off at the top there and then 
that's a real simple one, but I kind of like that. In fact, I like it enough that I am going to glue it down. I just have to decide if I want this top to be out or if I want to cut off her, her head there. This one might be cool too. Oh, choices, choices. I'm going to make a strip just like that and audition it. I think I like the other one better. And I am going to cut this off straight so I know where to glue it. And do I like it? that way I think I like it without all that on top so I'm just gonna cut that off and then I can tilt her eyes a little bit more cut off a little bit more I can tilt her eyes in funny ways and that's an easy, easy one. Not sure about the background. Her lips kind of, her lips kind of blend into it too well. Ooh. Or this background. Oh, I think we have a winner of the background here. So I am going to glue that on and figure out where to put her eyes and I can say that I did two whole faces. <laughs> she looks like she's wearing an ancient Greek out helmet. <laughs> so, so that is pretty much the basic ideas of faces if you're just starting out, I would start a couple of them with just a whole a whole head and changing out eyes and nose and mouth. Um, just to play around a couple of them that way, and then go into building a face from parts. I kind of like that. I like she's tilting down looking at something and it's not just straight. It gives it a little bit more interest, I think. So this one's a real simple one. And I'm kind of centering centering it on the background a little bit so it looks like it's a portrait. And there she is. It's a green. It's a green background. So, so there is face number two. So we did a whole two faces today. I wish I could come up with a mouth for this one, but this one is just not. It's the mouth is not appearing for me. I don't know why. It just nothing is coming out. Nothing is making itself obvious. Don't know why. Nothing seems to be working for me. That's too much of the same size. Too much of the same size. Oh. This might work. But 
That might work. I'm kind of liking that. So I am just going to glue that down. I'm putting the center of it in the center. These take these take me a long time to do. So I have not been messing around with them too much because I get I get involved and I get lost in making these faces. I've got a whole table full of parts by the end of the, you know, end of my little session. And the cats will climb up usually and make a mess of my whole workstation. So I kind of like that. I'm going to put some glue on the eye and figure out exactly where I want that eye to be. And I am moving it a little bit to the inside so it's really kind of off. And I'm going to put some glue on her little mouth here. And the corners, the, the ends of these are slightly going off her face so that you can see that it's a different piece and the coloring is just a little bit different as well. So there's three. I don't know what happened to the other one. We did three. Here it is. We did three. We did three green ones today. And they're all completely, completely different. Completely different. Come on. All right. I'm just getting really frustrated with focusing and computer nonsense. Computer nonsense. Thank you. Tired of the computer nonsense. So that's what we've got. And I will be doing um, more videos with more faces and more um, ways to switch them all up and do funny things. I could have put a, 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 a mouth over that little strip there or put that strip over this mouth. It would have been kind of funny. Um, there's so many different things to do. And it is very fun. It's very fun. You get sucked in. And it you lose yourself in just playing around with um, combining them in a different way. And it, it really is. Um, and it takes a long time for me. So... Because I just, I want it just the way I want it. And I don't know what that is until I see it. Um, which often takes me a very, very, very long time. So, I think I have passed my time now. I need to get back to figuring out how to fix my computer settings. My program settings and all that other stuff. And hopefully by what comes next? Sunday comes next. I will be streaming and I do hope to stream on YouTube. If I can get it all worked out. I will be streaming on Sunday with the Anything Goes book. Had a lot of comments. People are liking the Anything Goes book. Um, and it's working for a lot of people. So we're going to do some more steps in there. And 
continue on with learning how to play in our Anything Goes books on Sunday. So I, I had glued it onto this piece of paper and it doesn't want to release off the paper. Yeah, we release a little bit. Um, but I don't want it on this paper. <laughs> but I like the face the way it is. So I want to glue it down. Sorry, got myself distracted here. Trying to get it thin enough so I can glue it onto another piece of background here. There we go. Now it's coming off. It wouldn't do it when I wanted to do this before. Sorry, I'm almost there. So, yep. I'm going to glue that on real fast. Um, just because that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Which camera am I using? I am using a webcam, a Logitech webcam. You actually pinned a pair of pants to him. <laughs> oh dear. I wish I had done something um, constructive. Really would like to start streaming. extra glue there. So now I can say that I have on all of them green I have four faces today. I really like the the drawn one with the real with real nose and mouth. So now that I've got a whole four of them done I am going to go and uh, get something to eat and be very angry at this computer again because it won't do what I want it to do. All right, so thank you everyone for sticking in there with me and uh, I will get my problems here solved as quickly as possible and get back to streaming again and making videos and all that other stuff. So just as a last little bit, yeah my webcam has always worked for me before. I don't know why all of a sudden it's decided to be a mirror image. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, um, I did say in the recording on YouTube, I want to thank everyone for um, your wonderful comments on my Patreon page video. If you want to go and look at that, my Patreon page, um, I will have a link below on YouTube, on the YouTube recording. Um, I've got some wonderful comments from everyone and I I need to go over there and get to replying to those comments. I've been working with this um, stupid computer for a couple of days and have not had a chance to reply there yet. I'm going there. I will be, I'm getting my Instagram all set up and and getting that worked on because most people like the Instagram idea so I am working on that as well I'm working on a blog and I've got other things that I have in the works I've got more videos in the works so um, all that is coming I want to say that I appreciate all all of you um, and all the support and encouragement that you're giving me for um, my Patreon page. Thank you so much. It means the world to me and um, we'll see how it goes. 
Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. So I am going to say goodbye for now. And hopefully I will get this nonsense all figured out so I can continue on with new and interesting things. Sorry about all the confusion and nonsense that my computer decided to put us through. Um, wish I knew how technical stuff worked. So thank you and thanks for watching the recording.